today we are going to learn about some basic function and its graph okay now let's start first our function is constant function number one is a constant function that is fx equals to some c that is constant c in this function domain is real number and range is the only single tones the number c okay and uh, graph is like this is x-axis and also with y-axis and fx equals to c is just parallel to x that is y equals to c where the distance from x-axis is c unit okay this is the graph of fx equals to c so here the graph is a straight line parallel to the x-axis passing through the point 0 comma c okay now the second function is identity function identity function that is fx equals to x here also the domain is r and also as well as the range is the same as r the function is like the graph passing through the origin having the slope 1 that is the angle with respect to x axis is 45 degree x equals to uh, sorry y equals to x line here this is x axis and y axis okay what is slope is a tangent 45 degree equals to 1 that's why the slope is 1 slope is tan theta now our third function is fx equals to x square here the domain is all real number and the range is r plus set as well as singleton 0 combined that is r plus union singleton 0 here the graph is like a parabola exactly this type here is a point 0 included here and a perfect parabola this is x-axis and y-axis here the curve is a parabola passing through the origin obviously and is symmetric about y-axis symmetric means where the distance from the y-axis to this point and here the point distance are same this is x unit this is x unit this is x1 this is x1 so x2 here is x2 so the parabola or the graph is symmetric about the y-axis now the next function is fx equals to root over x that is the function is a square root function a square root function here the domain is r plus union the single term set 0 and also the range set is the same as domain so the curve or the graph is like this okay here the curve is a part of a parabola passing through the origin and symmetric about x-axis and you must note that x is also here or positive or zero but x is not negative now our next function is fx equals to minus x suppose fx equals to minus x here the domain is real and also range is also real number and the graph is a straight line passing through origin but having the slope minus one having the slope minus one that is the angle is in clockwise direction with x axis so the angle is minus 45 degree hence tan of minus 45 degree equals to minus 1 so the slope is minus 1 hence the graph is like this but this is a white reflection of the graph this right about y-axis here the reflection is about y-axis this is a slope 1 and this graph shows the slope negative 1 now our next function is 
f x equals to x cube. Here, this is a cubic function, and the graph is like a cute graph, cute curve line passing through origin, obviously. So just like this. Here, this is like. just like this so the graph is like this this is x cube graph passing through o that is origin okay now here the range and the domain are same that is real number next our next graph is of the reciprocal function fx equals to 1 by x here the domain is all real number except 0 why because the denominator must not equal to 0 okay and the range is also same as domain and the graph here is just like this type and also this type okay that is the curve is represent a hyperbola this curve together called hyperbola you must note that here it's not equal to zero and as well as y also not equal to zero okay now our next graph is of for the function of absolute value function that is mod function x mod x fx equals to mod x clearly here the domain is real number and the range set is positive real and included with only zero that is you may call it a whole number here the graph is just like this okay that is y equals to x and as well as y equals to minus x together form this absolute value function graph and we can write it as mod x equal to x when x is greater than and equal to 0 and minus x also when x is less than 0 okay so this is the definition of mod x function now here is some interesting function let fx equals to mod x divided by x this function is called signum function this function is called signum function okay this function is called signum function here the range and domain first domain is all real number but excluded zero and the range is quite interesting that is only plus one and minus one only two value plus one and minus one is the range of signal function now let's see the graph of signal function x axis and y axis since the range is plus one and minus one show the graph is like one emits positive in direction from x axis and a negative direction also from x axis hence the graph is like this this is y equals to one line and this is y equals to minus one line okay and this is one unit and this is minus one unit this function is signal function and the graph is like this we can write the signal function by mod x by x equals to plus one when entire x in any value is positive and only minus one when x is in negative value okay this function is called signum function now next graph let's see the next graph that is greatest integer function this is one. this graph and the function is also quite interesting greatest integer function 
Now the greatest integer function is a form fx equals to third bracket x. This you may call it box x. Okay, you may call it as box x. Uh, uh, hence, uh, uh, here the domain is R and the range is integer set. Remember, the domain is all R, but the range is integer set. This is more interesting, and the important thing is the range is integer set. The graph is like this. If we can here the integer function is here so 1 2 3 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 this is 1 2 3 1 2 3 okay now for this range minus 1 less than equal to x less than 0 that is x is equal to minus 1 if x equals to minus 1 then y equals to also minus 1 and remember x is greater than also minus 1 so the graph is like this now if 0 less equal to x less than 1 y equal to 0 for 1 less equal to x less than 2 y equal to 1 remember y makes the range so you may see that the range the value of y that is range is integer value but here the value of x may be fraction or any value from real number but the y is perfect minus one the integer value so the graph is like this type now uh, in this function we first complete the graph then it's some important argument so it's like some step and hence the function is called step function also now you can see if box x equals to k if box x that is a greatest integer function equals to k uh, integer that implies k less equal to x less than k plus 1 remember if k equals to 0 then 0 less equal to x less than 1 if k equals to minus 1 then minus 1 less equal to x less than 0 okay this is the definition of box function now also see that if box x equals to k that implies uh, if and only if statement is like x plus 1 box equals to k plus 1 also okay this is a greatest integer function that means if the range you have minus 2 less equal to x less than uh, 3 less than sorry 3 no less than 3 less than, less than, less than, less than minus 1 then what is the value of y the value of y equals to minus 2 if you have minus 5 less than equal to x less than minus 4 then the value of y equals to minus 5 if you have 0 less than equals to x less than 1 then the value of y equals to 0 so this is a greatest integer function or box function if you have 3 less than equals to x less than 4 then what is the value of y the value of y equals to 3 but so if you put x equals to 3.25 then what is the value of x y the value of y equals to 3 now uh, this uh, uh, sum you are given here 3.27 equals to 3 okay if you have 4.59 then 4.59 is equal to only 4 so this is the greatest integer function why this because 4.59 is greater than equal to 4 but less than 5 so we must take y as 4 this is called greatest integer function and the graph is like this now if we have fx equals to x minus box x then 
Here the domain is real definitely but the range is 0 and 1. Okay. Now let's check why this occur. If you have f of 3.25 then f of 3.25 equals to 3.25 minus box 3.25 that implies 3.25 minus 3.25 means 3 that implies only 0 0.25 is the value of y here you see it clearly that the value of y is in between 0 and less than 1 so oh, oh here the, this is the first bracket that is open interval here huh? okay this is always if you take it this happens always because if you take f of minus 2.57 2.57 then follow this function minus 2.57 minus box minus 2.57 is equal to minus 2.57 minus this value goes to minus 2 okay this is minus 3 definitely why because minus 3 less than equal to minus 2.59 less than uh, minus 2 we may write it as like this so greatest measure functions definitions said you that you must take y as minus 3 here minus 2.57 plus 3 equals to 0 0.43 Clearly, 0.43 is in between 0 and 1. So, always you can see that the range is 0 and 1. 0 is in closed interval, but the 1 part is an open interval. Okay, this is a function of fx equals to x minus box x. That is, it represents fractional part only of the x. Here, the graph is like uh, where we can see it here the graph is like x and y 1 2 3 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 and this is 1 unit so from 0 to this 1 this is the graph is like just like this okay you can check it at home The graph is like in this pattern this indicates the function x minus plus x or criticism okay now if we have linear function if we have linear function that is fx equals to a x plus b this is a linear function so the graph is either of the form this type it may be in first quadrant or second quadrant or third or fourth or any position but in this type or in this type that is the graph is a straight line and here a represents the y intercept no no no, no. the a, uh, y intercept is b here b represent y intercept What is y intercept? y intercept is just a straight line passing through y axis and cut y axis in a certain point and the distance from origin to this certain point is called y intercept. Okay. So always you can see that suppose 2x plus 3, you may check it at home, you may find the distance is 3 unit. So b is a y intercept and a is called slope. Of the graph 
this pattern is formed when a is greater than 0 and this pattern is formed when a is less than 0. Its domain is R and always the range is also R. Okay, this is called linear function. Now, next, if we have quadratic function that is fx equals to ax square plus bx plus c. Here, the graph is either of form this parabola or in this pattern. Both are represents parabolic graph. This pattern is formed when a is greater than 0 and when a is less than 0, you can find this pattern or parabola. Okay? And also, note that both graph is symmetric about the line x equals to minus b by 2a the value of x when minus b by 2a that, that, uh, we can uh, find a graph of x equals to minus b by 2a and we can find with respect to this graph there is a straight line the both parabolic graph is symmetric about this particular line now the curve cuts x-axis at the point given by ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 equation. If we solve this equation, we can find two value of x and this value of x is called the root of this equation. That is, the graph cuts x-axis in two points and the points are x equals to suppose alpha and beta. Okay. The domain of this function is r that is real number and the range is depend on the value of a b and c that is the coefficients okay now our next function is exponential function what is exponential function exponential function is of the form a to the power x the domain of the exponential function is r and the range set is positive real the graph is like in this pattern of this type this is exponential function graph when a is greater than 1 and this distance is always one unit okay and also if a is less than 1 then the graph is like in this pattern also here the distance is one unit this is the range of a that is 0 less than a less than 1 the curve always passing through the point 0 and 1 or it will now we know that e is always in between 2 and 3 hence e is a positive and also e is greater than 1 the curve of f of x equals to e to the power x is the same as the figure of this since e is greater than 1 you can see that a is also greater than 1 so this graph is particularly represents function of e to the power x also okay the both function is exponential function now our next function is logarithmic function that is fx equals to log x and the base is a okay you can express this function is as x equals to a to the power fx that is y now the function of log x as a domain are positive always and the range is all r the graph is of the pattern of like this okay this is one unit through x axis and a is greater than 1 now if a is smaller than 1 then the graph is like in this style okay this is always one unit and the range of a is like this the graph or the curve passes through 1 and 0 always you can see here 1 and 0 since e is greater than 1 the curve fx equals to log 
Bess E, the well-known logarithm, is same as the figure this. And you must keep in mind that x is always greater than 0 because the line is x equals to 1. Here the point is 1. Okay, this is logarithmic function. Its domain is positive real and the range is all real. And we have two types of graph depends on the value of a if a is greater than 1 then the graph shows here and if a is less than 1 then the graph is like this now we are discuss on some trigonometric function the first trigonometric function here is fx equals to sin x fx equals to sin x clearly the domain is all r but the range is minus 1 and 1 close interval that is we know that the value of sine is in between minus 1 and 1 here the graph we can draw it as 2x axis we must put the value is 0 and this is pi this is 2 pi here this is minus pi this is minus 2 pi and always the y takes minus 1 and plus 1 same therefore this is 1 and this is minus 1 okay now in between 0 and pi we have the middle point pi by 2 in between pi and 2 pi we have the middle point 3 pi by 2 now we are going to construct the function graph this is just like this type and first of all we must construct this parallel state line for our easiness to drawing this graph this is midpoint there are two small point so Just like this okay this is a sign graph a wave graph so the function is like this this is a sign graph here the period is 2 pi the period of this function is 2 pi now what is the period of the function so the period of the function is like this if fx equals to f of x plus k equals to always fx shows then the period of the function is k now here we see that the period of the sine function is 2 pi that is if sine of x plus 2 pi equals to sine x always so the period is 2 pi here okay now we are going to discuss on the function y equals to cos x. Here the domain is r and the range is minus 1 and plus 1 as well. The graph is like always a wave graph that is a like sine graph but here is a some slight difference is 0 this point is pi by 2 this is pi this is 3 pi by 2 and so on this is negative pi by 2 negative pi negative 3 pi that is so that graph is like this Okay, this is a cosine graph. This is cosine graph of your two pi. Now, tangent graph. 
f x equals to 10 x. Here the domain is you can take it as x not equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2. Excluded this point, you may take any point and the range is called our real number. The graph is here we construct. It's like this type when passing through O point and this is near to pi by 2 okay and this is near to minus pi by 2 the period is pi if this is passing through pi if this is passing to zero if the graph is passing through pi then the function is like here it is is it passing through minus pi suppose this is minus pi the function is going through in this manner this is minus pi suppose so this is a tangent graph now cosecant graph that is cosec graph number 19 fx equals to cosec x you can take x not equal to n by as the domain and here the range is here the range is negative infinity to negative 1 close interval as well as union plus 1 to plus infinity open interval this is the range of the cosec x okay now see the pattern of the graph this is x-axis main and this is y-axis from 0 to pi we have a section pi to 2 pi is also another section and here minus pi and minus 2 pi and this is 1 unit and negative 1 unit so this is 1 unit and this is negative 1 unit okay minus 1 plus 1 so this is 0 this is pi 2 pi negative pi negative 2 pi now let the graph is like in between this two interval this is a small parabola type graph okay that's an equal type and here why is this graph is drawing like this because you must remember that cosec takes the value greater than one so we have the graph is like this and here is you can see in negative x we have such this term. Oh no, here is some error. Make some error. And here is this is the graph of cosec x. Here also the period is 2 pi. Here is also you may note that the period is. 2 pi okay now second x the function is fx equals to sec x that is second x here the domain is not equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 except this value we may take any value of x here and the range is negative infinity to minus 1 close interval as well as union of plus 1 and plus infinity okay and the graph is quite similar to cosec x but some difference here also 0 pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 then 2 pi here is negative pi by 2 negative pi negative 3 pi by 2 and also negative 2 pi 
and the y takes plus 1 and minus 1. So, first we draw the parallel lines up from x axis and we construct this dotted line also to make our drawing quite easier. 5 by 3 pi. And here is a negative 5 by 2. This is 3 pi by 2. Okay, 5 by 2, and then this is y. Let's construct this dotted line. This is negative 5 by 2, sorry, negative 2 pi. Now, the graph is like this. Very similar to cosec x, but here is some slightly shifting from left or right of 5 by 2 unit. Okay, this is called the graph of sec x. This is the graph of sec x and is always a period of 2 pi like the period of cosec x also. Now, our final graph of this video session is fx equals to cortex. fx equals to cortex. This cortex have domain like x not equal to n pi and the real r is the range. Okay, and the graph structure is just like tangent graph but in a mirror image type 0 pi 2 pi negative pi negative 2 pi in between pi and 0 that is pi by 2 this is 3 pi by 2 okay now the graph is like this dotted line first we construct dotted line so we can very easily construct the graph this is a two tangent graph also here This is a two tangent graph line. This is the graph of cotangent or cortex fx equals to cortex. The priority is here is pi. Okay. So our video session is in here.